Hello, this is a Stratego game that I made for the second semester final in AP Computer class that I'm taking, or that I took. So, anyway, it was made in Java, and it's Stratego, which is like a, a board game. I don't know if people play board games anymore, so I made a, a uh, computer version. So, anyway, this is the game. Here is the main menu. We have all these options here on the main menu. We have a continue option which is not highlighted, which I never actually implemented. And then we have options, about, and quit. And of course new game. So let's go into the about. Here is all this. Da -da 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 -da. I took the game state manager idea and the key manager idea from foreign guy Mike. So that's that's to him. And then everything else I, I programmed. So if we go and start a new game, we can see like a fake loading screen which wastes the user's time. And then here is the actual board. So this that's cool. Let's go back to the main menu and go check out the options menu first, actually. Here's we can select the player color and the computer color, show the grid or not. Um actually let's show change in the color. See if we change the color it'll it'll change in that little box over there by like blue so we have that we can also show available moves which is handy and then we can change we can change the uh, background of the actual game to different uh, pictures or text and stuff too so that's cool and then we can also change the map to uh, I have five different maps that I've made for it I think maybe there's four anyway so I like that map the best, actually. Back to the main menu, let's actually start a game. Another, the main menu again. <laughs> uh, Alright, so here is the Stratego board. Here are the map, the pawns, you can see in the middle here where we cannot go. And here is the description on the right side. Now you may have noticed while watching that this um, window is actually resizable. So yeah, it does resize to uh, yeah, it does resize the board to the given size. And then yeah, we can resize it some more. It's it's pretty good. Now you'll notice it's not perfect. It does cut off the words right here a little bit, but yeah, we can just resize it and then it fits. Anyway, that's that. So. Welcome to Stratego. Stratego is a game of strategy and wits. To the left board, da 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 da. Continue all the pieces. Your goal is to get the end of the flag. Each team has 40 pieces. They will go diagonally and may not go in the pawns. Press enter to continue. So we have all that stuff. Up there is going to be where the enemy will spawn if you haven't played Stratego before. And so let's continue by pressing enter. and now we have the flag All right, the flag is the most important piece on the board and you cannot move and bottom blah 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 it's a, a donated by a large F and then we can press enter wherever we are on the board to place a flag and then we can also swap pieces after two so we can move with the arrow keys along the board and we press enter to place the flag alright and we can also go either way by the way Alright, bombs, we get six bombs to place on the board. They're immovable objects, and their only purpose is to blow up an enemy unit. Blah, blah, blah. They're denoted by a large B. And the only piece that can remove a bomb is the miner. So, once again, we'll place, press enter to place a bomb. So let's place them around the flag of down here. And then I'll come over on this side and place three others on that side. Alright. So now we have the spy. The spy can be killed by any piece on the board, and it, the only piece that it can kill is the marshal. And it only can kill the marshal if it attacks first, and it's denoted by a large S. So press enter to place the spy. So we'll choose a spot all here on the board, and press enter, and there's a spy. Marshal is the strongest piece on the board, and it can only be killed by the spy. If the spy attacks first, press 1 to press, uh, press enter to press marshal. Anyway, 
da -da -da -da. Here are the rest of the pieces, and we'll just place those along the board. The number in parentheses remember, uh, refers to its strength and its number on the board. And then the four, the word number is how many that we get. So I'll just go place those along the board here. Usually I'll place uh, the stronger pieces at the bottom of the board. Anyway, <laughs> that's just the way I do it. Oh, the miner. The miner is the only piece that can remove a bomb without killing itself in the process, and they're denoted by an 8. Alright, so that's the miner. Place those guys down here. Alright, here we have the scout. We get 9 scouts to fill the rest of the board. And they're just used to scout out enemy places because they are the weakest unit. Alright, and then we'll go down here to our other area and place that back. Now our pieces are placed. If we would like to swap two pieces, we'll select the first piece with enter. Then we'll move to the second piece and uh, click that one with enter. Or we can also press Z to deselect a piece. So I selected 9 over F, press enter, and then they're switched, you'll notice. Now, uh, yeah. Now, we, I can select it back. Select it, you notice it's red while it's selecting, and I press enter, and they swapped back. I can, uh, yeah, anyway. Press Z also to deselect. Now we press spacebar to continue, and there are the enemy pieces up on the top of the board. Now it's our turn. We'll choose a spot. We'll choose a, a piece and deselect to select it. And you see that green spot above it. That's the area where that piece can move. So we'll select him, move him to the green spot, and now he moved. And now the computer has also moved. And you can see that the green spots it shows more areas of where that piece can move. So it looks like the computer is advancing. Let's select uh, that guy again and attack the computer. Oh, he had an 8. So since 8's a lower number, 8 will defeat our uh, piece. So we take our 6 up there. We moved our 6. Computer attacked us, and we won because we had a lower number. Alright, so that's cool. Let's come over here and move a piece. Oh, it looks like the computer is coming back. Let's move our 9. Oh, it looks like... Um, computer has a stronger piece, so we'll move our 6 over, and we defeated the computer's piece. Move our 9 back up, and it looks like we there was also a 9 up there, so um, they both died. We'll move our 8 up there and take out all the 9s that are at the top. So, yeah. See, now, of course, we can move in all three directions, so we can see uh, we can move on all three. And it looks like there's 8s over there on the left side. Oh, the computer's bringing his pieces down. We better watch that. All right, good. All right, let's move our nine back up. Nine. Oh, there's a six up there. Let's let's take up our five. <clears throat> take up our five to uh, destroy that six. And we'll also destroy that other piece that the computer's bringing down in the same process. Nice. All right keep playing just take out all these guys now yeah the computer is buggy see you'll notice it's not actually thinking when I have a piece up there it only concentrates on getting its own piece up so yeah it's definitely not perfect but you know it, it works the way that the computer actually cheats what happens is the computer detects where um, where it, where the flag is, and then it sends the closest movable piece that can move to attack the flag. That's how the computer works. Anyway, I'm about to win. All right, there you go. See, I, I already knew that the flag was in the top left, but anyway, that's the Stratego game. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.